so in this series of django tutorial uh, now we are discussing about the structure of the django or you can say a uh, life cycle of a django project now see here django is based on django mvt structure uh, mvt or you can say mtv structure that is model view template and or you can say model tem template view so what is model view template so if we talk about a website and normal website what a normal website have a normal website or web page has some layout and it has some data on that so a normal web page or a website or an advanced website or a big website must have a layout and data and if we talk about logic so they have a their business logic like see here if you talk about Amazon uh, on that page Amazon has a layout and that layout you can design using HTML CSS and JavaScript so if you're designing a static web page that can be designed using HTML CSS and you can add some dynamic you can create a dynamic web page using JavaScript and if we talk about data on that website uh, that can be static or that can be dynamic and that can be coming from a database so the data is important that data is very important thing in a website and the main thing that is logic that is business logic if you talk about uh, instagram website everyone has different feeds on their home page and if you talk about amazon everyone has their different orders different recommendations that is the business logic that they are using on their website so these are the main things on a website uh, or a website has so now what is what does mvt model do so here we you can see this this is a database and the database is connected with model so data is coming from database and the model is using that database to create so more we will use models in the Django to create tables. Okay, so the model is important. So here we have template as well. So we are going to use templates for creating our web page. So if uh, you talk about a normal web page, you can design using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, but in that uh, Django project, we are going to use Django template language. This is the important thing because uh, we are getting data from our Python code. So we have to use a Python uh, or you can say Django template language. So we will talk about this uh, language later. But the important thing is to notice that we are having that template language that is most important thing. Now see here views. Views is the thing. So we have talked about data. We have talked about layout. Now is that time for logic so how you can write logic so this is the thing where this is the place where we are going to write business logic so views is the place views is so something like you should think uh, you may be thinking that uh, views is something that uh, should be up that should appearance about uh, called appearance or something but this is not views views is here for writing logics so here we are going to write functions uh, for our business logic and the uh, thing is URL. So a user comes to a website and the website is designed using Django. So you can see that uh, you can say that uh, the user is sending a request through URL and uh, that URL is connected with views. So this that URL is calling a function on that views and that views is connected with models and templates both and that views is uh, getting data from models and passing that data to templates. So this is how a Django life cycle, life cycle works. So this was all about Django MVT structure. So for a recap, uh, a user comes to a website and that user sends some request and we have data that is coming from database and the model is connected to database and we have templates for writing our, uh, writing our front end or writing our layout of that page and that both is connected to views. So here we are writing business logics. So if a 
url comes and, and you can say request come to the views and views uh, interact with models and get the data and send the data to the templates or our web page 